Here we are again in Vincenzo's kitchen. And today, we're going to throw together some ham and cabbage to use up some of those mini potatoes that were harvested from the barrels. Some little carrots, baby carrots. A half a head of a medium-sized cabbage. And a can, a little small canned ham that I happen to have. And I thought we'd just throw this together. So what I've done is I have a, oh, probably an inch of water, maybe an inch and a half of water that's boiling on the stove. My favorite cooking pot, of course. My Dutch oven pot. And what I've done is I've added some pepper and I've added some dried onions in there because I want that onion-y flavor. And to put this together, it's very simple. This is one of those economical, far-stretching family dinners. Uh, I could serve this as a standalone since you've got something from all the groups. Uh, it's diabetic friendly. Don't want to add too many potatoes in there, but I think I wanted to add enough to so that there's an equal mixture. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use these potatoes that have already been washed, dried. They're small, they're little. I think they're kind of cute. And so we're just going to pop them in the water. That's going to be on the bottom. Then we're going to put our carrots, our baby carrots, we're going to just toss them in the pan, in the pot. And then we're going to toss our ham in there because that's going to flavor everything. A little on the slippery side. And then we've taken our cabbage, we've cut it in half, and then I've cut it in eight triangles, so to speak. And we're going to place that into the water that's already boiling and seasoned. We want the cabbage on top because when the cabbage is done and it's cooked but not mushy, you'll pretty much know that this is done. Just pop a lid on it. It'll decrease in size. I'll stir this as we go along, mixing all those flavors up. Kind of layering of the flavoring. So here it is Sunday. It's actually lunchtime, but I already have something taken care of for that. And this will be what's cooking for dinner. So I hope everybody enjoys this weather. It's really been a blessing, actually, here in Zone 6A, Middlesex Township. And uh, that's how easy it is to put ham and cabbage together. Very simple dish, hearty dish, economically friendly, diabetic friendly, and I hope you try it and enjoy. This will probably cook for maybe a half an hour. The one thing that you don't want to do is let the water run out so that uh, it burns in the pan. So we'll keep an eye on it, and we do want to mix it after it starts to cook up. Now what I do is I drain all of the water off in a calendar, a colander, and what I do is I melt a whole stick of butter and I'll pour the butter over top of it and then I'll mix it and put it in a nice serving bowl. Alright, here's another original recipe. Vincenzo's Kitchen. Make sure to be kind to one another out there and help your neighbor if you can. Alright, we'll see ya.